proceeds are going to Red Cross. And, okay. uh, you know, it's a situation to where, you know, somebody asked me a couple years ago to do it. I didn't feel like the time was right. And I had a guy that could do it this year that had never written a book before, but I trusted him. And hopefully he did a good job. I'll probably wait a while before I read it. <laughs> you know, I, re I, re I finished it last night. Oh, did you? Yeah, it's good. good. It's okay, good there job. you go. It's great. Yeah. That's hey, Art, an how endorsement. Feel as a living guy to have a biography. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good to be living. That's all I care about. It. And I don't really look at it that way because uh, you know we certainly feel like our story's not told yet. Yeah. Still a lot left out there. Did, did you enjoy going back and you know some parts of it? Some, yeah. yeah, yeah, I did. I mean, it was uh, you know rehash some things that I really hadn't thought about in decades you know so that part of us was, was a little bit good and, then, and really the way we did it he just gave me a microphone and I'd record and then send it to him and we met up a couple times and he did all the, the you know hustle work on it going and seeing people yeah I hear there's a picture of you with a beard on a motorcycle <laughs> not true <laughs> that, that part's not true now the beard yes but yeah. not on a motorcycle so coach uh, Antoine Goodley was named to the Belenikoff watch yeah. list. Uh, do you have any comments on him and Tevin's performance? Yeah, is Tevin on it also? Yes, he yeah, is. should so be. He was already. Yeah, I mean they've 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 done well and they've done exactly what we expect them to do. You know, and Antoine, it's a little bit of a surprise to some people, but I mean when you're behind Kendall Wright and then Terrence Williams, I mean you're not going to get a lot of playing time, and you know it's his time, and he's a really really good football player that fits exactly what we do offensively and we're looking for big powerful fast receivers. Coach Clasco, did, was he suited up on Saturday he just didn't play? Was yeah he, he could have played center? he could have played we felt like we rushed him a little bit but you know it, it just worked out where we didn't have to play him so it was a it was a plus and he'll get well again this week he'll be ready to go for the open conference game against West Virginia. You expect him to be back? Yes sir 100 percent. How did Byron Bonds he did well. out? What did y'all yeah, yeah, see from him? You know energy effort and and made some plays early uh, so you know, it was, it, was, it was a wash. You know, you put him on the field, he makes plays. And, uh, you know, it's kind of like Monk. You put him on the field, you don't, if you put him on the field and you don't notice him, that's usually a good thing, you know. I mean, so in the interior line right. part of it. So that's, those, both those guys did a good job stepping up for us and playing when we had a time of need. Was there a struggle at all in terms of pulling the red shirt or anything? Or not was really, that, no. no. No, I mean, that's struggle to try to win every game you know that's what it's all about we'll, we'll think about the future if it ever gets here any update on Ahmad is it has that changed at all or no, he's, he's, he's basically yeah down. he'll be ready to go he just he has a bone bruise and you know he'll he'll be working out today he's good what about I want to ask about Troy because Troy got in the game last Troy week and played a little bit you know he's rightfully uh, still you know a little bit sensitive with it which we all would be you know after six months but uh, it's really amazing that he's out there that fast, being as big as he is. You know, the bigger you are, the harder it is on you a little bit. And he's he's done extremely well, you know, getting ready to go. Do you have any comments on Cyril Richardson so far this season? Uh, yeah, a bunch of them. <laughs> what do you want? I mean, he's, he's the best old lineman in the United States of America. I mean, that's I don't think much needs to be said after that. I mean, he's a great, fierce leader for our football team. Now the conference play is opening up. When you look at the conference the way it is right now, I mean, how excited are you to seeing it? You know, really wide open. Anybody? For the you know, I just I wish I could look at it that way. You know, all, all I'm looking at is West Virginia, and and that's honest to goodness truth. So that's, you know, I, I couldn't even tell you who we played after them. I mean, that's that's where all of our focus and energy be because that's what exists. And what you do is deal with what's reality. And the reality is that's who we play and that's who it's our job to be. Or in the last couple of days, you're just hearing, you know, you know, everyone's being, you know, excited with the offense. How you guys were able to perform, you know, these last three games. I guess how do you, how do you get the players just focus of going, you know, ahead, not listening to all that oh, hype yeah. about the team? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's a very fair question. And you know, the, the thing that helps us a little bit is, uh, you know, we've been through a little bit of this before. You know, I mean, when you have a Heisman Trophy winner, and, you know, you win some of the games that we won in 2011. You know, with our football team then, and kind of get on the run we got on last year. You know, at the end of the season. I mean, our guys are, are used to having media people around and used to having people thinking they're pretty good. And I've always thought, you know, you are what others perceive you to be. I mean, people think you're pretty good. And next thing you know, you might be. So uh, we don't back down from it or run from it. You know, we, we understand we've worked hard to get in this situation and put ourselves to be a respected football program. So people want to respect us. We're all for it. Do you feel like it's almost one of those things where it's about time that people are taking notice? I, I can't say that because, uh, you know, I've, I've been – I understand that the, the drop offs is right around the corner also. So you just, I mean, you take what it is and, and what it is right now, it's a good thing for Baylor. Coach, uh, are you getting a big enough sample size? The, they put up some outrageous numbers. Are you getting a big enough sample size that maybe this is who these guys are? Uh, I, I think, uh, you know, our story will still be written at the end. I mean, I think we're still working on our identity and, 
I mean, we played three football games, you know, and we haven't played a conference game yet. So we know that, you know, the times will be a, a little more stressful as we jump down through the season. And it's been an unusual start the way things have gone, but she will take it. You know, we've worked, that's what we work for. I mean, what has happened is what we expected to happen. And so as long as that keeps going, we'll be okay.